Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Currently on SmackDown, Roman Reigns and the Bloodline are involved in a heated feud. But another big incident occurred on Raw lately, and the original Tribal Chief may have to handle it. After WrestleMania 40, Roman Reigns' return to WWE television at SummerSlam 2024 is likely to be a major event of this year. Since then, tensions have escalated on SmackDown between the OTC and Solo Sokoa's bloodline. Bad Blood will see Reigns and Cody Rhodes join up to take on Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. The former undisputed WWE Universal Champion, JUSO may be forced to make an appearance on Monday Night Raw for a little due to his recent big victory. Last night's Raw saw Jay's first singles title, the Intercontinental title, as the Yeet Master beat Braun Breaker. The OTC may have to swallow his pride and approach his cousin, who isn't exactly thrilled about the prospect of a reunion, in order to set the stage for a possible War Games match at Survivor Series 2024 if the big victory manages to catch Reigns' attention. Jay abandoned Roman's bloodline last summer and departed SmackDown, as many may recall. With his recent Intercontinental Championship victory, Roman may feel pressure to apologize to his cousin and persuade her to side with him in his fight against Solo's group. Since then, he has been riding high on the Monday Night Show. Since Jay's best buddy Cody Rhodes has joined forces with the original Tribal Chief, he may be hesitant to rejoin Roman at first, but he may eventually come around. Nevertheless, the angle remains conjectural at the present time. Even though Jay has avoided becoming involved with the Bloodline's affairs since becoming a member of Raw a year ago, he has often voiced his opinions on the continuing story. Curiously, main event, Jay continues to have great things to say about the OTC, even after she left Roman. After WrestleMania XL, the Yeet Master was asked by the Gorilla Position podcast to choose his tribal chief among Roman Reigns, The Rock, and Solo Sokoa. Roman will always be the tribal chief, the Intercontinental Champion said, and it was Roman who led them to the promised land. That being said, Jay did admit that he was relieved to be out of the bloodline's affairs. It would be intriguing to see if Roman Reigns reacts to Jay Uso's huge championship victory on Monday Night Raw. For over three years, Roman Reigns, known as the Tribal Chief, has been WWE's undisputed face. He is now the company's universal champion. Reigns has been one of the most fascinating figures in contemporary professional wrestling since his comeback in 2020 and the beginning of his dominating reign. He has been an integral part of every WWE storyline thanks to his group, the Bloodline, his command of the roster, and his seriousness while speaking. However, nothing stays the same in professional wrestling. Rumors have been circulating behind the scenes that might lead to an unexpected and frightening development for Roman Reigns in the WWE. For the first time in years, Roman Reigns may have to adjust to a scenario where he isn't the center of attention, as WWE is allegedly plotting a massive shift that might alter the main event picture. The creation of new WWE titles is one of the company's most talked about recent developments. The WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which is now held by Seth Rollins and other significant belts, might be introduced in the near future, suggesting a change in the company's strategy towards expanding its championship scene. Roman Reigns, who has held the Universal Championship for more over 1,100 days, may be slowly shifting away from the Tribal Chief era if this development is any indication. The introduction of another global championship, particularly one of comparable or more significance, poses a danger to Roman's single domination, even though Reigns still has the undisputed Universal Championship. Everyone has been following after him for years because he has been the champion. WWE is putting a lot of effort into establishing new top-tier championships, which may lessen the effect of Reigns' reign. He used to be the only top dog in town, but that was then. If Roman Reigns is to be believed by WWE and its fans, 
This heralds a new era in which Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, and maybe even emerging talents like Elin Knight take center stage, rather than just Roman alone. The star of WWE shows, Roman, may have to share or possibly give up his position as champion. Romeo faces formidable opposition from the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes, who poses a serious threat to his reign. Their encounter at WrestleMania 39, in which Reigns successfully defended his championship in a nail-biter for fans, was hyped as a titanic showdown between two elite superstars. Rhodes, who just made a triumphant comeback to WWE and is now a prominent babyface, has continued to be an annoyance to the tribal chief. Many fans believe a rematch is imminent after Cody's defeat at WrestleMania 39 shocked them. Cody Rhodes vs. Roman Reigns, too, might be WWE's next big main event, maybe even before WrestleMania 40. Given the company's recent shift toward narrative centered on long-term rivalries, however, the risks are greater now. It's possible that WWE is teasing the conclusion of Cody's redemption journey. A lengthy and powerful championship reign in modern history would come to an end if Cody Rhodes were to dethrone Roman Reigns. This would be very disappointing for Reigns, who has become so much more than just the champion. He is now the central figure in some of WWE's most important storylines. If he were to lose the title, he would have to reevaluate his role in the organization. Roman Reigns may have to accept not just the loss of the championship, but also a change in how WWE portrays him. If Cody Rhodes were to win the Bloodline storyline, which has been entertaining, it would put Reigns in a position where he would have to come up with inventive ways to stay relevant. Within Roman Reigns' personal storyline, the disintegration of the Bloodline is perhaps the most glaring indication that his position as WWE's leading star is changing. The USOs, his relatives, and Solo Sokoa formed a powerful group although that faction has been gradually beginning to break apart. It seems like Reigns is starting to lose control of the empire he established, what with Jimmy and Jey Uso defecting from his side and the internal upheaval that ensued inside the bloodline. One of Roman's closest friends, Jey Uso, even faced off against him in a very intimate bout at SummerSlam 2023 for the Undisputed Universal Championship. The match marked a significant change, even though Roman kept his championship. Once a faithful disciple of the tribal chief, Jay now stood tall as a real danger, leading supporters to wonder whether Reigns' reign as the dominating leader of the bloodline was coming to an end. As the USOs begin to break away from Roman's control, and Solo Sokoa gives hints of disapproval, Roman Reigns may find himself without the dependable support he has depended on for so long. If the bloodline were to break apart, Reigns would be exposed, as he would no longer have an unstoppable champion and an ally ready to defend him. On the other hand, he might end himself staring alone at the WWE Championship while all of his rivals eagerly await their chance to win.